Hey everyone, it's Monday, October 14th. Uh, this is Rhonda. I hope you guys all are having a great weekend. Some of you may have a long weekend like me uh, since I work for a financial institution. Uh, we have Columbus Day off, so um, none of my other friends have today off, but I have today off, so I'm catching up after our weekend of tailgating at the WSU OSU game. Um, we had a great time. Um, let me give you my stats to begin with. Um, on Friday, my stats were, uh, my weight was 187.6. I'm uh, round one, P3 day five, 187.6. So this weekend I didn't weigh myself. Um, I didn't weigh myself until today and my friend and your friend, Tom showed up this weekend. So um, I stuck to P3 pretty well and I'll go over what I ate here in just a minute. Um, but let's see, I was 187.6 on Friday. It's Monday morning, round one, P3 day eight. And I'm 189.0. So I'm up 0.4 from Friday, which is 1.2 over LIW. So not terrible, um, but we'll see what happens in a, the next couple days when Tom leaves and, and all of that. Um, we had a great weekend. Um, we left Friday morning and um, motorhomed. It's about a six and a half hour drive from um, our house. So we uh, had our motorhome and we have a nice, had a nice little drive over to the Palouse. Uh, it's beautiful over there in eastern Washington, and if you've never been there, it's, um, well, there's not much to see unless you're going to see something specifically, but uh, anyway, um, let me tell you what I ate. It was purely a tailgate weekend, so we got there um, in the afternoon, 4.30, 5 o'clock, so we took our girls uh, out to my daughter and her all of her girlfriends out to dinner, and we went uh, out to a Mexican restaurant, so uh, it was packed. It was about an hour to an hour and a half wait, I think, at this Mexican restaurant in uh, Moscow, Idaho, which is across the border from Pullman, Washington. Um, and so I had a lot of time to think about what I was going to eat for dinner. Um, so I decided on the chicken fajita salad. I didn't eat any beans or rice, and I didn't, of course, didn't eat the flour tortilla shell. I didn't eat any chips that were on the table, uh, and we had quite a wait for our food, so I was pretty proud of myself for that. I did have one tequila shot with other parents that were there. And um, so that was a good success for Friday night. Uh, Saturday morning, I had baked on, on um, let's see, Wednesday before I left, I had made a bacon, egg, and cheese frittata that I found the recipe on HCG Recipes. I think it's hcgrecipes.com website. Uh, so I had made a couple of those and froze them because I was, as you remember, I went out of town um, Thursday, and then we left Friday morning, so I didn't really have time to cook. So I made it Wednesday, froze it, so it was ready for us for Saturday morning breakfast, um, so I wouldn't have to cook there. Um, it was wonderful. It was a great P3 meal. Everybody loved it, and um, so that's what we had for breakfast in the morning. And then um, didn't really eat lunch. Um, we started snacking and kind of tailgating uh, early in the afternoon, probably like 2 o'clock or so. Uh, and we had snacks, um, meat and cheese trays and veggie trays and all that. I stuck to pretty much uh, peppers, like, um, you know, those mini bell pepper, um, uh, celery, some meat and cheese. I had made a big, big batch of guacamole, one of my most favorite things. And although we did have chips, I didn't eat any chips. I, I ate the guacamole and not very much of it, but I used a couple of Melba's. And I just broke them into, like, six pieces. As I went, I just break off a piece and eat some guacamole and and everybody was pretty distracted they weren't really focused on me and what I was eating so it was better than a sit-down meal I thought did pretty well um, I did drink on Saturday um, I'm not a huge drinker but I'm more of a sipper so I made a big huge glass of what I guess is my favorite HCG drink when I drink alcohol um, but it's grapefruit juice club soda and vodka so that's pretty much what I drank um, and then Saturday, we just snacked, and then after the game, it was a late game. The game didn't start till 7:30. Unfortunately, WSU lost, but it was a sold-out game, and it was a lot of fun. Freezing cold over there in and clear in Eastern Washington, um, but we had a really good time. And then after the game, all the kids wanted to go to this place called Munchies. And what they do is during game days, I guess maybe it's probably game days. They set up the um, this big easy up and this big grill, and they grill hot dogs and onions, and it's just a big, huge, like, favorite for the college kids there on campus. So we all did that, stood in line, they grill up the hot dogs right there in front of you, and the onions, and the big deal is that they have this spicy sour cream that you put on them. Delicious. So what I did was, and they serve it to you in, like, wax paper or wrapper, 
So I would just, I tore the bun off and left the hot dog exposed. And I did that as I went. So I didn't end up eating any of the bun. Um, so I did pretty good with that. If you can, you know, considering, I mean, I probably shouldn't have had the hot dog, but anyway, I was really hungry and we'd been drinking, of course. And so that's what we had. So that was it. And then Sunday we went to breakfast out, um, yesterday morning and I just had a Denver omelet with some sour cream and salsa. And, um, I did have a half English muffin and I didn't eat the hash browns. I should have asked them to keep them off the plate, but I didn't realize that they were served. It was, I wasn't paying attention. So I didn't eat any of the hash browns. So, um, did pretty well on the way home. I snacked on, on the long six and a half hour drive home. I snacked on um, more peppers and guacamole, what was left of some guacamole. And it was really good and it was fine. Um, so I had no idea how I did it with my weight. Um, I did test my ketones last night. And they, I was spilling a little bit of ketones um, in the lower range, but um, it was above a trace. So I was pretty happy with that. And then this morning I was up in the medium range. So I did pretty well, I think, um, with my uh, weight being up um, 1.4 from Friday and 1.2 over LIW. Um, I think I had a pretty successful P3 weekend. Um, so that was it. That was kind of my one of my first well that was my first I think outing like over the weekend outing so I'm going to stay on P3 this week this weekend um, Thursday evening Thursday late afternoon I will be leaving with my high school girlfriends to go to the beach for the weekend um, Thursday Friday Saturday come home on Sunday and I'm going to load this weekend for a couple days probably Saturday and Sunday maybe Friday Saturday Sunday a light Friday load Saturday and Sunday for sure because when I get home on um, Sunday afternoon Monday morning, me and my husband are going to start our 20 day round of um, HCG. So I hope to get down to um, about 175 or 180 is what I'm hoping to hit. Thrilled with, with um, 180 would be good. Um, 175 is what I'm targeting to maintain for a period of time through the holidays. Um, I wouldn't do another, I don't plan on doing another round until after the first of the year. I'm feeling really, really good. Um, I'm just, I don't know if I showed you these jeans. These are my black jeans. Um, I think I showed you the blue jeans. But anyway, these are my black jeans. And they are not your daughter's jeans. These are from, um, I got these at Nordstrom. Um, not cheap jeans, that's for sure. But, you know, um, my jeans last me for a really long time. Even if I was in this size for a long period of time, I would be thrilled. Like, um, I feel really good. I feel healthy. I did measure this morning and my measurements in my arms and my, my waist is down another inch. I think I've lost well over two inches in, in my waist and my waist was pretty small to begin with. Um, but in my hips, in my butt, which is what I measure a little bit lower in my knee and my thigh and my calf and my arm. Um, I think all of those areas have gone down. So I'll have to add all those up, but I do keep track of my, uh, my measurements on a real regular basis. So I feel really, really good. I feel healthy. Um, I'm not hungry when even I'm not on HCG and I'm not hungry. I don't have cravings. Of course, I've stayed away from the sugar. So I think that that's the key. If I, you stay away from the sugar and you don't crave sugar. Um, my husband craves things like that. And um, I have had a, like a half of chocolate delight um, once when I, I thought I did. I wasn't hungry and I really wasn't craving chocolate. I just thought it was, I just thought of it. So I just did it. So um, anyway, I'm about um, nine minutes. I need to catch up on videos. I have not um, watched the videos all weekend. We didn't have a great um, cell service over there. Um, so for watching long videos. And, and we, I was just busy with the girls. I mean, we had um, four girls that I love dearly, like my daughters. One of them is my daughter. And um, we have several families at our RV tailgating and just having a really good time. And, and so... Um, I didn't spend a lot of time on technology, but we had a really, really good time. So um, I look forward to catching up with all of you. I hope you guys are all doing really well, staying on protocol or as close to protocol as you can um, can be. Um, stick to it, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Take care.